Well, hello. As promised, here are my guitar, my guitar collection, and the first one here is Nuka. There's Nuka. She's a Harley Benton. Benton. And this series is no longer in production. The this series is no longer in production. This is the Sunburst design. It's no longer in production. But it's still in production in the full black. So this is... I bought this guitar. This is a second-hand guitar I bought off eBay. And it was originally a right-handed guitar. And I am left-handed. So I had to make some changes. These changes include... Well, you just restring it the opposite way. And this changes... And the screws here to adjust it, and it wasn't strung in the in the in the basic A E A D B E thing. It was the strings were done in a sort of A D. So I can't remember exactly. So I restrung it in the traditional string tones, and this was originally like this here. So you can see I've cut it out because it was right handed so I couldn't get to the upper fret so I had to sort of flip it around cut this bit out because it originally like that cut it out so you went in with a hack went in with a hacksaw jigsaw cut this basic thing out zoop, like that and then I went in with a hacksaw to refine it this little curve here and then I sandpapered it down and then I varnish it and it looks so lovely. You see this wood grain here. You can see the wood grain. It's quite nice. And don't do this as a home if you're not confident with the hacks or jigsaw or whatever. I'm an artist and a designer so, and I have these things around the house and I'm I'm a hands on person so I can I can do this with confidence. And I also had to Flip the strap bolts. This was originally here and here. So I had to unscrew it. Yeah, I, went, I cut it out and I just made a hole here. I just drilled a little hole and fixed this in. And hook the strap in from this side, turning into a left handed guitar. And this is a full Jazz Master type guitar. So it's lovely. Nice second hand Harley Benton, and it's actually whoops, I just banged my thingy. And it's actually a travel size guitar, and it's a travel size guitar, so it's quite it's a good size guitar as well. I can show it from the side how it looks. And the plug here, the jack here, originally, obviously, because it's right-handed, it's at the bottom. But because of left-handed, I flipped it over, so the jack is now here, which is a bit awkward to play, but I've got an l shape jack, just so it just goes off that way, so it doesn't affect me that much. Uh, oh. So, that's my Harley Benton. And the second one is Haniwa. Just bashed her. This is my second one. This is Haniwa. And it's a travel size acoustic guitar. This was also right handed. And I've had to make some minor adjustments. Restrung it. It originally came with ivory pegs and the bridge. I bought. The left-handed version of this of the bridge is the bridge is originally right-handed so I say this is a right-handed guitar so I bought the ebony replaced the ivory knobs and the ivory bridge and also this where the strings sit it was all right-handed so in ivory so I've actually bought the left-handed neck where the thing there 
let the string sit and the bridge and the pegs in ebony so replace this replace these it's a right hand left-handed bridge you can see where the thinner string sits six string sits here see now it's different it was the other way around and it's a tangle wood so you can see it's a tangle wood travel size guitar it's twcrt if i can zoom in there you go and i've never had a scratch scratch board so i put a scratch board on here as well the leaf pattern so usually i don't really strum my guitar but as you do finger style but i usually brace my finger and i'm playing on the guitar itself and i'm picking so this will protect so i usually brace here or down here and obviously i'll just put the remaining one on here because i lean on here as well in my arm and this is as i say this is a tanglewood i've got the string there we go it's a tanglewood I really strung this right handedly and this is Honeywa and she's the one I play all the time in most of my videos as you will see it, it would be Honeywa that I'll be using and then after using Honeywa I'll go and play this and it will sound slightly different but I mastered the songs in here first, not master because I'm still learning I practice on here first until I get it just right and then I go on to Nuka. Mm, this is only what I just flip around. You can see it's a beautiful little travel size guitar. There you go. Uh, anyway, from Tanglewood. Travel size or for children junior size guitar. There you go. It's beautiful. The neck is so beautiful. Look at that with it. Look at this with it. The wood grain. See, Tanglewood, Tanglewood, UK. Zoom in. I can see, you can see this is a Tanglewood UK guitar travel size. And there you go. And that's the hook where this is where I put this strap on here strap is uh, i didn't change over the hooks so yeah just hook it in here and it just loops up from the other side so it doesn't matter with this one where the as to this one where the strap hook is you have to swap it over and that's honey oil and this is a strap and this is my first guitar this is mimba it's my first guitar that i bought to learn on it's a classical spanish guitar as you can see the size difference the full size and it was on it's a honer get a zoom in here yeah, honer basic guitar with the basic model mc and it was sunburst as well pattern on here first some verses be like this all over all over here and I decided because the story behind it is this is a tribute guitar to my Mima my great 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 grandma she obviously was a, a slave and I did the design here with the prayer pattern prayer hands with the shackles on her hands, the shackles there, but I made it golden and just to represent her strength and endurance during that period. And be, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. So, this is a tribute her, her golden, her perseverance, her belief. And we did this in a sunburst pattern. This is actually all gold, actually, gold. I made use with gold leaf. As an artist, so I can do this. 
and then we get to our food. Won't need to commission here, I can do these in anything we like. But anyway, these are gold. This represents, represents the tears. Like rain falling from the heavens also represent tears. And these are golden tears. The golden shackle. I've made the shackle sort of darling in the background, so not so prominent because she survived and it's made the shack the, the cuffs golden because probably my child were gold so but this is it so you know these the sort of made a lightning pattern as well this represent the power and strength and belief the sunshine sunburst gold and gold tears or rain golden and the lightning as well all represents the strength of belief power and perseverance and survival now this guitar I bought I would say at least at least 20 years about 20 I bought it it must have been I don't know late 90s late 90s so I say it's over 20 odd years old about 25 or so it's now it's 2020 I bought this all these years ago to learn the guitar and, and I just couldn't it just didn't sound like I was strumming it and it just sounded terrible this guitar was a package guitar I bought from the UK in August 25 or so years ago so it came with the guitar and a VHS video that's how long ago it was this was a vhs there wasn't any dvd it probably was it but there was a vhs video just a basic learn how to play the guitar and a tone pitch tone pipe so you could tune up the guitar a tuning pipe and that's it and a little piece of paper packaging it comes with the packaging how to string the guitar and i just couldn't play because it just didn't sound right, and I actually gave up. I thought, well, oh, I can't do this. It doesn't matter how I'm playing, it just didn't sound right. And I was strumming. I know nothing about picking style. Or back then, I didn't, didn't, there wasn't any YouTube videos to go and learn, or internet, really, to go and learn. Well, I, didn't, I couldn't afford a sort of teaching a teacher or anything like that so I thought let me t I was basically taught myself to play the guitar but I over 20 odd years I started and I gave up because this didn't sound and I thought I can't do this but during the lockdown I decided mm, I'm going to go back to this guitar still didn't sound right and I eventually decided to buy an acoustic guitar not this one I bought another one full size let's see this ends. I'm small it was beautiful as well. It's the Echo Italian guitar, a beautiful guitar. It's just so big. So I sold it and I replaced it with this Honeywell. And it's perfect. And I learned to play on the, my Echo full size finger style. And I've got YouTube and so forth. And I sold my, um, I sold it. Didn't get this straight away, so I went back to this. And then it sounded okay. So I knew then that I needed to sort of learn how to play a Spanish guitar. And I, uh, my style of playing is finger style, picking, finger picking. And it sounded okay. So I was strumming it, it didn't sound right. And anyway, I replaced my full-size acoustic travel size because I say I'm small and then I had another guitar I had a Stratocaster full-size as well to so bought and it's wonderful I played it and I decided and it was too big as well so I sold sold it recently sold it but before I sold it I bought this and then I had four guitars and I was so a bit oh, stressed out with space so I'm so glad it sold I sold my Stratocaster it was a brand new guitar the Stratocaster was a brand new guitar that I bought it's a package guitar so from Donna so you get the amp the cable 
uh, spare strings and a travel bag. So anyway, I sold that and this was the replacement. Also, I now have three guitars and I'm glad so I've got my electric, acoustic and my classical guitar member. This one is not a great sound, but it sounds much better than I can play now because it's, it's a generic basic guitar and it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't keep the, t the tuning as well as the other guitars, but I will never sell her because she's my tribute guitar to my four times grandma, Mimba. Mimba. So my mum always talk about Mimba when she was a little one. So yeah, she always remember me by saying she wanted to go home, she wanted to go back home. But anyway, this is my tribute guitar, I'll never sell this, and this is, these are now my permanent guitars. So these are now, these are the ones now, these three guitars. I rarely play me, but she has a hard case, which I bought, I'll say, about 20 years ago also. This is what she looks like. Spanish guitar. She sounds okay, she doesn't sound great, but yeah, she's my, uh, oh, my precious, really. And Mimba, this, I'm sorry, Honeywa, love Honeywa, plays beautifully, which is travel size. I've got cases for all three, by the way, and Nuka. So, oh, I forgot to mention as well, with because these are right-handed guitars and I've actually had to make some changes you know the fret markers here they come on the opposite side so I had to place them in here so I know where I'm at and I'm playing and basically I just drilled a couple of tiny holes in each place and I just filled it in with some white paint eventually I'm going to replace these with some proper pearl inlays but as I, as I say, I'm an artist and I do this all the time. I'm a hands-on person, so I can do this. But don't try this stuff on if you're not confident. And, oh, and I knock Honeywell again. She's a tough little guitar. And I did the same thing with Honeywell. Just the original inlays, fret markers. And I've just flipped over. Drill some tiny holes there do, 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 and filled it in with, as you can see, white paint. I went all the way to the top. This one doesn't go all the way to the top. It goes up to 17, so I went up to 19. And there we go. So this is a 17 fret. And this is a 12, 15, 17, 19, 21. 22 fret thing, 22. And that's it really. Did the same thing with Mimba, although she didn't come with this. Oh yeah, she did. She came with this as well, with the markers. But you notice it starts from the fifth and this. And I did the opposite and the side as well. So I started from the third. There we go, and for 12. Nice, and that's, that's it really, it took me, oh gosh, I hope you watched all of it, this is 20 minutes of introduction to my guitar. Thank you for watching, and sorry about the delay in my upload, and these are my three permanent guitars. Thank you. Peace out.